everyone's favorite segment, DigiKey and Adafruit present. Hi, on MPI. This week's Iron MPI is from... Molex. Molex. Okay. Well, we're doing another Molex one. We did Molex custom cables a bit ago. That's right. Um, but I saw these pop up on digikey.com slash new, and I was like, that's a good idea. These are the Molex One Touch FPC connectors. Uh, so these are connectors for flex cables. Uh, we have flex cables in a lot of use cases. I'll show you a couple in a bit. Um, and these are the two connectors. They've got ones that are... Um, right angle and they've got ones that are vertical and you notice it has that little push bar it kind of looks like, like the you know an exit push bar from like a from a door um, and that does exactly what you think it, it's a way for you to um, connect and disconnect the flux uh, cable from the uh, connector by pressing down to release it so flux cables you know we see and they're, they're using a lot of things they're used in you know almost all electronics these days um, they're inexpensive um, it's an easy way to have multiple contacts on a PCB you know you don't have to do a lot of crimping if any um, and uh, you basically can fit a lot of connectors into a flex cable because you can use 0.5 millimeter millimeter pitch which is um, not too hard to solder and uh, your PCBs your flex PCBs are the precision is going to be good enough that you can um, cram that many uh, connectors in there's also 0.3 millimeter although we, we tend to use 0.5 um, these connectors are also 0.5 so you know for example here's a TFT and um, there's a flex cable so that means it you know they can bend quite easily and on the end you see one through 50 um, 50 uh, connector points on uh, the FPC um, and then you would plug it into an FPC connector. So this is like a Molex connector that we have that's a kind of like a, a pull, push, like an ears style, I call them, um, connector, um, slide out or, you know, whatever the technical name is for these. And um, basically you see the contacts on the end because you can't solder a flex PCB directly to a circuit board without it causing strain and, and having it rip apart. What you do is you slide it into the connector. The connector actually gets soldered to the PCB. So um, this is what the connector looks like when um, not in use. So you see the little uh, brown part that slides out and there's two little ears on the side that you pull carefully out. Um, and then you can insert the flex PCB in as shown here on a PCB, you see the ears are sticking out. And then um, you push it in all the way and then uh, you, know, you insert the flex connector and you push in the little ears and you're good to go. So let's go to the overhead and I'll show what that looks like in person. So here I've got like a nice cool square TFT display. And this is a little breakout board that I've got that has um, that same uh, FPC connector. Like I said, it's a slide out style. And you see there's these little ears, I pull on them and then I can remove the FPC. You can see the FPC contacts here. And then there's top contact and bottom contact. And then again, if I want to insert it, um, it's the wrong contact way. I'm just showing it for, for demonstration. And then you have to squeeze this ear and you have to squeeze that ear. So, you know, th these pretty much work and, and we use them a lot. Um, but there are some things you have to watch out for with these connectors, which is that they're extremely hard to rework and they are a mechanical part that if you have people doing repair or maintenance on something with a flex connector, they can break. And when they break, it's kind of like catastrophic. Um, so, you know, you can see here on um, the left, I don't know if you can zoom in onto the, the connector, but, uh, you know, basically, if that little piece that moves um, gets cracked or broken, and um, from heat it can get cracked or broken, it's unrepairable. Um, and, you, you know, you, you can get replacement parts, but you can't, like, oh, yeah, there you go. So you can see, like, on, on the corner there, it got cracked a little bit. Um, either from heat or from mechanical strain and you basically have to replace the whole connector and there's a lot of like little plastic bits that can break on these FPCs um, and they're really uh, hard to rework here's here's another one and you can see the whole thing just broke off right so that the you know maybe it was you know somebody flipped it up and it, it was stuck a little bit they didn't pull while flipping whatever either way um, it cracked off and broke and so what's really neat about um, these the Molex one touches is, um, you know, they come in different sizes. And again, there's no like mechanical pull or flip part. You push to release the part. Um, and so there's like one less thing that can go wrong. The reason I mention this is that, you know, if you have a design 
that has these flex connectors and you're either assembling them in an automated fashion or you have people and you know they break one out of a hundred of them um you you have to rework a board which can be like quite a bit of work and might damage other components on the board because it's a big part you have to heat and remove um and also takes time and it might be better if you just you know upgrade to one of these one touch connectors um because you don't have that mechanical strain problem you don't have this part that can break off um you just push to uh remove uh the cable and it also locks in place so maybe let me grab one i have yeah they're available in digikey the oh. number that i use to find because there's a few different ones is 245 That's the Molex Or you can go to digikey.com forward slash short forward slash RN8RW873. Okay, so I found my connector. So let's go to the overhead again. So this time I'm going to, again, yeah, you have to like carefully open up both ears. And you never know, like sometimes I actually break, I, you know, you can break these. You have to be very careful with them. Okay, so this side and then this side. Okay, and then you can remove. So this is the uh, one touch connector. So let's, we can zoom in a little bit. Um, and so you can see uh, the push, this is the push button here. Sorry, yeah, this is the push button here. It's kind of hard to see the, uh, there you go, the engraving on it. Um, you've got the contacts and you've got the mechanical strain relief here to keep it in place. And then um, to plug it in, um, what's interesting is that you don't push to um, attach, you actually just, press in and it actually has kind of like a wide curved mouth thing so you don't have to like be careful like you know if it, it, it'll it'll slide in and it'll align properly um and then you know it, it's nicely solid and then if you want to release you press so you saw I, I was pressing it and i guess you could also press if you want to insert but you don't have to so there you go so it's inserted press to release there you go. So, so, and it, they're good for 20 cycles. Um, this is the vertical type, which I thought was kind of neat, but they also have the right angle type. So less, less chance of you or the person doing the maintenance cracking off um, that piece. So I think for that purpose alone, and if you have a product that has this issue doing maintenance or rework or installation, you know, right? Because this is like part of your um, you know, rework or yield issues. Um, check out these uh, connectors. They have them in... Uh, you know, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, and maybe I think 50 pin, maybe not 50, um, up to 40 pin connectors, vertical, horizontal. And they use like pretty much the same footprint as existing Molex um, FPCs. I mean, check the data sheet, you know, to make sure that you've got the exact right position for it, the, the mechanical pads. But chances are, if you have a design that already uses FPC connectors, you could probably swap these in without doing a huge board revision, right? You might have to just tweak a couple pads, but you're probably gonna have, not going to have to move around a lot of parts. So very right. interesting connector. I think it's an interesting innovation um, because I've used pull out and flip top. I've never seen push to remove or push to insert type. And we have video. That's right. Molex made a nice video. The Easy On One Touch FFC FPC Connectors by Molex. These connectors feature single step mating with an auto lock nail mechanism, a high retention force, and an easy to use push button for unmating. Offering a quick and reliable connection, as well as easy operation, makes the Easy On One Touch FFC FPC connectors ideal for a host of industries and applications, from smart appliances to various consumer and industrial uses. The Easy On 0.5 mm pitch one touch connector enables quick and easy FFC FPC cable insertion and mating operation via manual or automatic assembly. The large lead in helps avoid misalignment, while the inside locking mechanism ensures superior retention. Push button to easily unlock the cable. Other features include its high operating temperature optional ground terminal, and right angle and vertical variations. More information at molex.com. Hi on MPI.